back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper. Today I am participating in another Aussie YouTube hop and this time around we are celebrating winter. Our sponsor this month is the wonderful Kidaholic Kids, so please go and show them some love. And if you wish to be in the draw to win a fabulous prize, all you have to do is watch this video to the end comment in the comment section and then in the description box there will be a link to the next participant click on their link watch their video comment on their video and then they will give you a link to the next participant and so on and so on once you have commented on all the videos you will be in the draw to win a fabulous prize the first thing i did was i quickly got a piece of white cardstock and added some gesso and put it on the side to dry my next step was to go through my papers and I found this lovely map paper in my stash. This paper came from one of those magazine giveaways and it was absolutely perfect for a layout of Sydney. For those that do not know, every year for the last 10 years, Sydney has hosted the Vivid Festival and this year it did not disappoint. Well, to be honest, it's never disappointed us. The Vivid Festival is on every winter. It's usually around about the first week of June, second week of June, and it runs for, I think it runs for about two weeks. Now, basically, it is Sydney Goes Up in Lights, and it is absolutely amazing. Because we live in rural New South Wales, going into the city is a bit of a, bit of a trek, but we love to book a hotel room and have an adventure and it's once a year and we absolutely love going into the city. I struggled with the placement of the photos so I decided to move on to the title and I'm using these stickers from American Crafts. They're black with that lovely stitching in white and I believe they're called Marquise. And I'm just going to use them to spell the word out winter. And then I go back to struggling some more with the placement of these photos, which I must admit was the hardest thing about this layout. I will then move on to spell the word Sydney in these lovely glitter foam letters. They're called Gen, also from American Crafts, and they're a beautiful gold colour, which was really fitted in nicely with the whole Sydney Up in Lights theme. It's at this point that I give up with the whole struggle of the placement of the photos and I decide to make my own matching for the photos. I had gone through all my papers and nothing really worked because I was being stubborn and I wanted to use that matte paper. So I got out some white card stock and I got out my gelatas and I basically used a light blue, a darker blue that you see me applying there and then I put a bit of grey on top and I spray it with some water, mix it with a paintbrush and I do the good old packaging technique. Once I've done the packaging technique I then go in with the paintbrush and I just blend it all in because I was going for the effect of the Sydney winter sky which is sort of bluish greyish as the storm was coming in. And um, I basically just repeated this technique over and over again till the whole page was covered and I was happy with what I had in front of me. I'm now going to be using my Distress Inks in Weathered Wood and all I'm going to do is put some of the ink onto my craft mat, get some water, sprinkle it on, then I will get my paintbrush and quickly just sort of, I don't know, paintbrush it all on so it just gets a bit more patterns on it and then I get my paper put it on down and I start picking up all that wonderful ink and this adds another layer to my background. I've put my matting paper aside to dry and I'm going in now to work on my building so I am using the distress inks in the colour black soot and I basically, with a little finger dabber, I'm just going to colour in all these buildings in black. I then decided I needed to add a bit of contrast to the buildings. They were just a little bit too black. And I go in and I add a few highlights with the 
Distress Ink in the colour Chipped Sapphire and just rub it in with my finger just to blend it all in a bit. To keep with the theme of Sydney being up in lights, I am going to back the windows of these buildings with some gold glitter paper. And I must admit that I do love the end result. Once my windows are all backed, I will be moving on to the background of my paper. And I decided to create my own once again. And that white cardstock was the one that very on at the start of this layout I had gessoed. So I'm getting out some of my distress inks. And I first go in with the chipped sapphire. I just add some ink to my craft mat, spritz it with some water, spread it out with my paintbrush. And then I just get my piece of paper and plonk it on down and pick up as much of the ink as I can. I love all the patterns that were formed there on the cardstock, but I just didn't think it looked like a night sky. So I'm just going in with my big paintbrush there and I'm basically just dabbing it all over the place just to add a bit more texture. I wanted to blend all the patterns and colours in a little bit more. So I get out my blending tool and once again I'm using the chip sapphire and blending all that in just so it looks more like the different colours of the night sky. Love how this looks but I want to get in more of those purple tones that are in the lovely winter sky that we get here in Sydney. And I'm using the Distress Ink in Wilted Violet and just doing the same process as before. I will then put this paper aside to dry and I will move on to matching my photos. My paper that I'm going to use to mat my photos is all dry now and I'm going to go in and with my blending tool, I'm just going to add a bit more grey to it and I'm using my Distress Inks once again and this time uh, the colour I'm using is Puma Stone. So back to my photos and I did struggle with placement as I said earlier but somewhere along the line I worked out that my issue was not enough photos. So what I did was I got out my sprocket that you could you can see there and I printed out some more photos and once I did this it all just came together nicely. This is a quick look at what it looks like so far and that lovely matte paper. I love this paper so much that I'm actually going to hoard it. So all I'm doing is I'm trimming off about an inch of the paper and I'm just going to mat along all four sides with one inch panels and that way I can put the rest away for hopefully another project. And I'm really happy with how this looks so far. It's back to my background paper with the Sydney winter sky in the background and I decided that it needed to be darkened up a bit so I'm going to be using my Distress Oxides this time and the colours I will be using is Black Soot as well as Wilted Violet. Once again I'm just putting the ink down on my craft mat. I started off with the Black Soot. I then added some of the wilted violet around it and smooshed it all together and then of course I just get my piece of paper and pick up as much of that ink as I possibly can and I keep doing this process till I'm happy with the paper that I have in front of me. I still wanted to darken my sky up a bit because it is night time and so I'm just using my black soot distress oxides and my trusty little blending tool and just blend in a bit of black into all these layers. I then bring in my little buildings just to see how it's all going and if I like what I see and I think oh yes this looks okay. It's nothing like what I envisioned when I first started making this layout but you know what I'm happy with it. I then think, oh no, I like the bottom bit, but the night sky up the top, it's just not dark enough. So once again, I add some more blend in with the black soot until I get the sky just as I wanted. I didn't use a lot of embellishments on this layout. I think the photos are the star of this show. But once I adhered all my everything down to my paper, I will then go and 
through the, what am I using? It's the Craft Store, and that's a brand from the Reject Shop here in Australia. And I loved these stickers. To me, they look like firecrackers or fireworks, so that's what I'm going with. And I just stick them down to the right-hand side of the layout. Then I go through my ephemera packet and I find some more bits and pieces to put down. On top of my firecrackers, I do find a lovely die cut that says wonderful on it and it's in a lovely purplish colour which I thought went really well with this layout and I stuck it down. In my stash I also had these clear acetate little stars so I'm just gluing it down with a little bit of glue and I'm using my oh, little pick it up pencil whatever you want to call that and just putting the little stars down so they're twinkling in the night sky. And we've come to the end. So thank you everyone for watching. Good luck with the competition and till next time. Here are a few of the close-ups. I hope you enjoy and as always stay safe and I will see you soon.